All right, time being 6.02, I'm going to call the Board of Health meeting to order. Uh, all members are present except for Clay Kelly and Lisa Bazanson. Member, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A lot of space back here today. All right. First on our agenda are announcements from the health department. I'm going to turn things over to our health agent, Chris Schultz, for those announcements. Uh, just a couple quick announcements. I'm going to give everybody an update on COVID because I think it's been a while since we've talked about case numbers. Uh, so as of today, we have 19 active cases. Uh, and again, I'll, the caveat to that is that's uh, what it, Proctor, Proctor test results that have come through Maven. Um, that doesn't include anybody that's testing at home. Uh, we are aware that there's a surge, numbers are up, um, and that's probably going to increase uh, as we get into the winter months and people start going indoors. Uh, so that's all I have for COVID. Uh, I don't know if we mentioned this at the last meeting or not, but effective November 1st, uh, all textiles and mattresses have been banned from the trash stream in Massachusetts, uh, which means you cannot throw out textiles or mattresses. So for our residents who are concerned, because we're starting to get some calls on this, uh, if you have textiles, and that includes any fabrics that are not wearable or usable, uh, you can turn them into the, the Bay State Textile bins located here at Town Hall, uh, at Beaverbrook, at Laidler Field up on Chestnut Street, and at our compost site. Uh, there may be a couple other places in time. They will take any textiles in any condition as long as they are dry and not contaminated. Uh, as far as mattresses, we still offer um, recycling at the compost site, $20 a piece. Um, compost site is open Saturdays 9 to 2. However, if you have a mattress that you need to get rid of and you can't get there on a Saturday, you can call the health department and make arrangements. We'll meet you up there anytime. Um, I did speak with Boston Carding, and they are willing to do curbside pickup of mattresses, but it's going to cost you $75. So, 20 sounds um, a lot better. 20 is a lot better. Uh, we are looking into more cost-effective options for curbside pickup, but uh, currently that's the only available option right, unless you go to a private company. Um, and if anybody has questions about those bands or what they can or cannot put in the trash, uh, please feel free to give the health department a call. That's 781-982-2111. Uh, is there any... Um Vaccinations, you still best vaccinated? Oh, good lord, yes. Uh, so we are still doing um, COVID boosters, uh, and if anybody needs their first or second shot, we have those too. Um, I don't know that we have flu yet, so give us a call on that. Um, I know you said you were, you, did you order more? You we put it in order. Uh, I was out of the office most of the day today, so I'm not sure if, we, if that order was approved or not, but I know we are still doing COVID shots uh, for sure. Uh, we, I think we have some flu shots, but not the over 65. That's the one that we're definitely out of. Um, we don't have, but anybody looking for those can get them at their pharmacies or doctor's office. So. Chris, we heard anything on the RSV in the schools if they had any issues with the, the, the um, you know, that flu or that, you know, respiratory? Uh, it's a concern. DPH has um, been sending out some advisories about it, but we haven't received anything you know, official yet or any sort of action plan. Um, it is on the increase, um, but no, no official action. Any other questions? Great. Great. Uh, next item on, or actually first item on our agenda is a discussion of possible vote on the permitting funeral directors. Uh, this we brought up at our last meeting um, as something that we determined in the capacity assessment that uh, we do not currently do and we are required for Mass General Laws to be doing. Um, so really what we need to set, and Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, what the fee is going to be for this permit for the funeral directors. Um, the uh, minimum administrative fee that we've determined is probably 75, is that? Yeah, um, that, that about covers the and the, uh, and the general law caps it at $100. Um, and Chris provided us, and this is in uh, mm -hmm. everyone's packet here, 16 municipalities, um, what their fees are. Some of them are actually over $100 and not supposed to be. Um, but the average ticket amount to about $75. So um, the question really is just what do we want to set that fee at? Um, I know there was some back and forth discussion on the last meeting, so. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the $75 fee. 
I second that motion. I have a motion to set a seventy-five dollar fee for attorney funeral directors and a second from Kevin. Do I have any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? It is you. Well, it is of the members present, so it passes. Thanks right. for compiling those numbers, Chris. Oh, my pleasure. So, with that being done, I will um, have a conversation with our local funeral home, and um, I think the board had decided that we weren't going to charge them for this year. Uh, the permits run till. April, yeah, April May first is the date, so it'll be covered until then. And, then, and there's only two directors there, as far as I'm aware. So, okay. so each director has to have a, a permit. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. Um, next item on our agenda is to uh, approve the minutes of October seventeenth. Uh, anybody have any questions, omissions? Nothing. I can't vote on that. So I'm saying. Oh. Okay. Um, you know what? But that being the case, yeah, let's let's wait until we have the board. So we'll, uh, we'll we don't even take a vote today. Table, table. Table. Yeah, yeah. We have everyone here. Okay, quick and easy. Correspondence from the health department or anybody actually. Uh, we've got a few calls last week, uh, specifically about mattresses and textiles, which well, I didn't put that in the announcement because uh, that is a new development. Um, Nothing else really of particular concern. Chris, when, do you stop preparing the budget now for the uh, FY24? I know that's yeah. scary too. We had a meeting about that today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so that that's being worked on, and we'll go to FinCom early December. So we're in the process of looking at that. We, um, as I'm sure some people are aware, we don't currently have a administrative assistant. Yeah, I I don't know how much really we. Have a, a, a role in that. I, I think it's just weird. I mean, I I, well, I'm willing to work. I'm willing to put that on if it's a conversation you want to have. But I don't yeah. really want to. Hold I just that. just for educational purposes because I yeah. think there's confusion with the town as too that they, I think just because with the board health it's like they make this. I believe most people believe that it's probably our budget, but I think it, so. I just like to know, you know, kind of what we're requesting, what we need, what our needs are, yeah. and the kind of. You know, just so I know the budget that what we're looking at. I know one of the things we were looking at was uh, to increase the um, funding for vaccinations because we had a spectacular response from the town this year on vaccinations, and uh, we, had, as I was saying, we were wiped out of the flu early on. Um, we do get some reimbursement from the state for that for administrative fees, but we initially have to outlay money to purchase it. Um, and we are working on trying to post a, a position in the office for an administrative assistant slash coordinator. Um, so those things are working. What's the time frame for that? Will it be sooner than later, I hope? Uh, hopefully, because uh, our, our skeleton that was made in the yeah, project will let it go. Um, yeah. And maybe we can invite our uh, liaison from the Finance Committee um, to join us at the board health meeting. And talk That's about it. I'm sure he would be more than happy to do that. <laughs> Mr. Golightly, I'm sure would. All right. Um, no other correspondence? All right. I would now entertain a motion to adjourn. Well, one thing, I guess, the correspondence that I will mention. Uh, so, for people who have extra trash cards in Edmonton, um, and this question gets asked a lot, if you are looking to get a second trash card, um, we really prefer that people don't, that they just recycle better. Uh, but if you do need a second trash barrel, it's $150 up front and then $75 a year, um, usually due in June. We were late getting out our mailing this year uh, for folks that already have a second barrel. Um, and we set a deadline for November 1st. There are still uh, quite a few people who haven't paid. We'll be sending out an additional letter this week. Uh, if we don't receive payment for second barrels by December 15th, we're going to operate under the assumption that people no longer want them, and we will take them back. Because uh, they have a shortage of barrels. So uh, if anybody has an extra trash barrel and has not paid for it yet, um, please do so as soon as possible. And actually, you might have asked, uh, Abbott Cam recently filmed their um, Health Department Roundtable. Yeah, Health Department Roundtable's back. Uh, our first episode, we have Joe Kenny, our ACO, on uh, discussing rats. So uh, if anybody has suggestions or ideas and things they'd like to see on future roundtables, the, the previous ones were 99% about COVID updates. So now we're looking to tackle some uh, of the other areas that we cover. If anyone's interested in stopping by the health office, we have a poster on our door that lists the A to Z of public health, and there's quite a few different things that we do. So, if anybody wants to know more about them, let us know. Um, that's
that's our agenda. Uh, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Motion to adjourn. Second. Katie, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. We are adjourned.